Tops 1. Add user role. To add a user role, we begin by clicking on admin on the menu. And then scrolling down. To the user role section. Click manage to access the user roles detail. Here we can manage the permissions for our existing user roles or create a new role by entering a name for the new role. And then clicking add role. Click save to save this new role. Our new role is now at the bottom of the list. To assign a user to this role, just drag the user from its current role. And drop it into the new role. User roles will not display on this screen if there are no users assigned to the role. Click save to save this change. Next, we need to set the permissions for this role. The permission sets are grouped by type. Clicking on AP will reveal the different areas within that group where we can set permissions. If a permission is blue, then that means that that permission is active. So, for each of these items, the user currently has the ability to read, create, update, and delete. We're setting permissions for someone with rights to accounts receivable, so we can turn off all of these items in accounts payable. Click all to turn off all of the permissions. Now, let's scroll down and set our permissions for AR. Click AR to open that permission group. We want users with these permissions to be able to do everything in accounts receivable, except delete. So, we'll turn the delete permission off. For each item. Clicking the group header will close that group of permissions. Let's now look at the bank permissions. Next to each group of permissions is an info button. Clicking the info button will give us information about related areas that require this permission. We'll turn the delete permission off for banks too. Continue setting permissions for each group as needed. When done, click save. Click roles in our light blue breadcrumb bar to go back to our main user permissions page. This concludes our Tops 1 Add User Role tutorial. Thank you.